Hi, I'm Silvio and this is part 2 of how to build a motorized camera slider with pan and tilt features full tutorial. And last time I was at this point here with the U-shaped camera mount here ready for your devices no more than 12.5 centimeters in width but you can use it with any kind of devices any kind of cameras photo cameras video cameras or even smartphones and the tilt motor was working and the pan motor was working too now i still need to add the lowest section the one with the sliding carriage attached to it Obviously, I still miss also the slide motor, and then everything will be added to the big imponent aluminum V slot, aluminum 2080 V slot. I will use only one of them and not all three of them because I will have no space to use all of them on my working table but I will also show you how to add the other two sections if you want to get from 1.5 meters up to 4.5 meters and I will use all the remaining parts there all the remaining three parts that are still there and no more to say let's get to work right now First of all, let me explain why I choose to go with this aluminum bar, this aluminum V slot here that is a 20 by 80 millimeters. This is 80, this is 20. Instead of going with this standard classic aluminum bar, this is always a V slot, but this is only 20 by 20, and this is the standard used in uh, 3D printers buildings. Everyone who wants to build a proper 3D printers or uh, standard 3D printers, filament 3D printers use this kind of this lot of 20 by 20. And this is unbendable, this is unbreakable, this is stiff hard as this one. But here I have a two small section, just 20 millimeters. Imagine placing my big um, uh, camera mount here and the slide here, the sliding section just sliding on this 20 millimeters here, a little too small. That's why I choose to go with this 20 by 80. And I will use this, this will be in vertical like that. And I will use these parts here, one from this side and one from the other side, obviously connected to them. And then this will, no, sorry, it's like that. And this will, will have on top of it the big round camera mount section. And this will slide with what? Sorry for the noise. With the help of some uh, wheels. For this part two, I have here all the components I will use. The wheels that will slide here, inside here. And those are wheels with bearings. To some uh, pulleys there, to some uh, nuts different uh, dimension of nuts and two paper clips guys maybe I will get closer to the camera these ones those are two common standard paper clips very strange secret here why I needed to use them you already know that my system will work this is my prototype of the brain and I will come to the brain in part 3. This works like that. Then I can attach one of the left, one uh, motor like that. 
and then connect the uh, controller, the PS3 controller to Bluetooth and then use it like that, sliding and you can see that it's working. But this means that everything will need a power cord. So yes, these will be inside my main structure, but I will need to connect an AC adapter to it. So it will always be dependent on the length of the power cord here, connected to the AC adapter. And this will mean having also power cords getting everywhere near or inside what you are shooting, filming. No guys, I don't want to be a slave of a power cord. Okay, I want hands free. So here is the purpose of this little guy here. This little guy here it is supposed to accommodate this other little guy here. This is a 12 volt battery tools, 2 amps, 2000 milliamps or 2 amps hour <coughs> battery. This is from Bosch and this is a standard battery shape used everywhere in the world with Bosch tools, with Bosch eh, uh, electric tools. And this is shaped to get like that. Okay, this means that if the all the system of the system here work with 12 volts and the motors here, the stepper driver needs 12 volts to get the motor working, but the uh, ESP32 brain needs just 5 volts to work. I also needed to power it with an alternative way, with 12 volts. And this battery will be what I will use to power my system and getting it cordless. This will be a cordless system. If I get the calculation right, this should be enough to work around one hour with it battery. Of course, if you have a 2.5 amps hour or 3 amps hour battery will be longer the using time, the working time or if you have a 1.5 amps hour it will be less and this will be connected like that with this little guy here like that to the external side so let me bring this, this will be connected like this and this will be from the outside like that, okay? And this will hold the battery that will not fall down because I have the click mechanism here that you cannot remove it if you don't push the two lock uh, boot buttons there. Okay, good, but this is just PLA, this is a plastic. How can I use this battery that is suited for a power tool to get the voltage correctly through the system? Big question there. <coughs> I will use those two paper clips. Those are pure metal paper clips, standard, found everywhere in Europe, everywhere in the world. But they need to be pure metal, not, I repeat, not painted or coated with some paintings, otherwise they will not work. So you just need to have them simply metal, pure metal, okay? Those are standard measurements. Those are in length. Those are three centimeters by one centimeters the widest. So 
standard medium paper, not small, not big, medium paper clips, old fashioned paper clips, yes. And I will use like them like this. And let me just open them like this one. And two like that. I will use the inside part. I will use the smallest part of them. Little two. I will cut this part here the same point as the a uh, little less like that and the same thing from the other side okay like that then be careful when you do this not to touch both plus and minus this is plus this is minus and I will insert those ones inside here like that with some of the of the top protruding from the battery and let me go with this to the other side let me check here I have a multimeter a digital multimeter let me switch this on okay it is set to 20 DC and let me check if the two clips are working. 12.4 volts, okay? 20, 12.4 volts you can see there. Let me just check if you can see from the distance. Yes, you can see. Let me repeat. So 12.4 volts. So it works. So the clips can the, the clips can bring the voltage towards something else. Okay? Now let me have them removed. It is important that you see what I have here inside there, that you have those little cuts there that have been 3D printed there, those two long, long and narrow um, cuts in the plastic, in the PLA, one and two there, okay, one and two. And if they are too little, you just need to use one exacto knife and do this movement here trying to go up and down up and down and try to uh, make them a little longer and a little larger why when when you will try to force those two paper clips what what were once paper clips inside it. Um, it is uh, important to have them no more than 1.7 centimeters okay like that this is 1.7 centimeters from the tip to down there so and now I will explain why Okay, now I will push both of them inside the battery holder, trying to get the tips coming out of 
it. And you can see that the two tips are out of the two cuts there, of the two grooves I have there, okay? Just the tips there, just the tips. And why 1.7 millimeters? 1.7 centimeters or so 17 millimeters? Because otherwise the tip will be coming too much outside and be and be a problem when I will close this. So, if I remove the battery, now, the two <coughs> clips, paper clips, are still there, in place, connected there. Okay? But I need to secure them. So, I will need to use at some point some super glue, okay, or uh, anything else, or maybe two components uh, epoxy glue to secure them there, avoiding that the tips, that the two clips can get uh, down or move from that position. But the two clips are obviously not enough. I need a way to get them connected to the rest of the system. For example, to this, okay, to the brain. What will I use? I will use some wires. I don't know if I will use a Zerti AWG that maybe are too thin, no. I will use some 24 AWG wires. I will use some black for the negative pole and I will use some red, the same length is better. For the positive. Good? Okay. Now, what I will be doing? I will connect the black one with one side, okay? If the battery goes inside like that, okay? This is positive and this is negative. This is plus, this is minus. So I was saying this is positive and the other one is negative. So this will go inside like that. This side here will be positive and I will mark it with red. Okay? So <coughs> I will use the black one as negative and the red one for positive. Let me switch on my soldering station. Let me go up to 370 degrees, Celsius degrees, okay? And I will, and I will try to solder this like that I have the black one then I will do the same thing with the red one okay my other set of ends and I will use some 
thin wire to apply it to uh, to a part of the of the wire, the one I have stripped off. So as always, let me check. Yes, under the wire, then the wire get hot enough, and then I will use my thin wire on top of them like that. Okay, let me clean the tip like that. Now. Let me have the black one first connected here with a V-shaped like that. I V-shaped it like that in order to get some sort of uh, hook there. Okay, you get a little hook. I will go this way. I will try to close the hook. Like that, I will try to go from the side there, like that, and then I will go and apply some more of the um, of the uh, tin on top of there. Okay, like that. And for the black one, maybe a little more on the side. A little more here. On the side, like that. Pay attention that the PLA is very heat sensible, so it tends to melt very quickly. And the black one is done, guys. Black one is done. Let me do the same thing with the red one, the positive one. Okay, and those two are good. Now, next step before continuing is to use some super glue or B component, or if you prefer, some two components epoxy glue A and B. Whatever you have at your disposal, I prefer to use. Uh, some B component glue if you have it on with you or even super glue. Don't care. The important thing is that you need to secure the two clips there in place and inside you still have the two the two clips getting ready to <coughs> accommodate the battery. Okay? You need at this point to secure there in place the two Clips. Why I don't have done this before? Because the glue, the super glue, the epoxy glue, risked to isolate the clips and uh, the metal of the clips not be not giving me the ability to solder the two wires together and on top of there. So let me take uh, some super glue. Here I am, and I will add some drop of it there, okay? And then I will wait for a couple of hours minimum, okay? So let's have to switch forward to two hours from now. So guys, two hours into the future at least for me the two clips are there glued together and let me check if these work the battery here 
plus minus okay and in order to check this I will need to do this and the positive one I will need to do this and then let me check if it works plus and minus I should have the same voltage as before here let me go there plus minus but it works okay 1240 okay let me remove the battery let me reinsert the battery okay the system works let me insert it once again let me check once again yes it works now remove the battery this is good guys but but because there is always <coughs> a bath Obviously, the wires are a little too long, but I don't care right now. Uh, an AC adapter or any system getting some juice, getting some electricity, need a way to be switched on and off. If I get everything working constantly, yes with this system but i need a switch on switch off let me show you what i have here here i have a cover for this little system here okay like that that will use three nylock and then three and three screws or bolt like that why have i such a thing because I also have one switch. This is a common switch, uh, a common uh, 6 ampere, uh, 125 volt switch, just with two poles, on and off, on and off, okay? And the measurements are 1.3 centimeters by 1 centimeter. I will mark down below the specs of this little guy here. This little guy here will be my switch on, switch off mechanism. The, it is a switch, obviously it, <laughs> it will be to the switch on, switch off. Okay, and uh, I still need to go which way will be on and off once I uh, place these. How they work? It's not having the plus here and the minus there, the positive and the negative. Otherwise, I will short circuit everything. A switch is needed to break or not break to close or open a circuit in just one of the wires, okay? As these will be assembled like this, I will go with the red one. And that's the reason why I have some space here in this little cover and then some space for the extra wires getting down there. How will I use this? I will switch, I will solder one one connector 
here and one there. Then that means that I will cut the red one and I will interpone between the two cut sections the switch. And the switch will be going inside here. like that okay let's remove it because i need to solder everything and let me prepare this this will be there so i need some space to work let's say i will go this way so I will have one, Done. Okay. And the switch is done. Okay. Let me just recheck everything. So the switch work the switch work let me remove the battery okay and let's have the switch Assembled. Okay, on and off, so I will need to mark the on part, this is off and the other one is on, and I will mark for now the on side to be this part here is the on side okay, of the switch. And I will obviously retest it once again. Good, switch off, remove the battery, 
the two clips are still there. Now I will try to close the cover. I will go that way with the red and the black. Let me take this off. Okay. I need three and three nylock nuts. One, two, and three, and three, and three, fourteen millimeters long. This is 12, so this is 14, yes, 1, 2, and 3, yes, and the 3, M3, so M3, 3 millimeters threaded, M3 threaded, 3 millimeters diameter, and threaded, um, screws or bolt and socket cap bolts or socket cap screws okay I will push in the three nylock Inside there, you will have. I don't know if I can show you right now, but you have one, uh, one there, there, one here, two, and the three holes for the M3 feet 14 uh, screws. I can say that this works. And let's go with the assembly of this little guy here, there, like that. Okay? And here I have the space for sliding the two wires. <coughs> I will need some nylock, three and three nylock, so four of them. M3 socket cap uh, um, screws or boards, but of 18 millimeters of length to get through this uh, thickness here and then also to get through this one that is almost a one centimeter so if I'm going correctly this is 18 yes this is 18 so one two 
3 and 4. Then also 4 and 3 washes. 1, 2, 3 and 4. One, two, three, and four. Done. And the lowest section. Now, let me check the battery. Then I will go with assembling this part here to the camera mount before proceeding with the wheels. Okay, now the camera mount and the lower section here the lowest part has three holes here and three holes from this other part here okay and here i have one two three holes and then from the other side i have one, two, three holes. And then also I have here one, two, three nylock. One, two, three and three nylocks. Let's have three nylock and three nuts from this side. So minute, minutes, not 12, 12 hours as I did before, and <coughs> some other three. Now I look in here. I will go. This way, okay. I will go this way, and please note that the supports for the wheels will be going towards the inside, okay. Then let me just use this because it is 20 or so, it will go this way, okay, inside. Yes, not this one, the 28, but anyway, it has the same width. So I will go there and use once again some M3 by 18 millimeters long, M318, one.
But first I need to cut a little more, one and two, and these needs, those wires needs to go inside here. One thing will go yes this I will assemble the final wheels like that guys with M5 volts in some minutes when I will switch to the to the to, to my plywood because here I don't have the place to uh, assemble it correctly okay and I will use some wheels inside like that but for now let me just assemble the slide motor like that this is the slide motor and I will place it let me remove this for a moment I will assemble it like that with the with the cords with the power cables going towards the app okay okay this is the belt that will allow the system to work it is a 2GT timing belt. It is a belt with some teeth there. I don't know if you can see, but let me get closer. It has some teeth there. And, and I have a small piece also here, okay? The 2GT timing belt has teeth there. And it will get it will need a pulley, a 2GT pulley like that, to slide the movement. So the groove inside the pulley match the teeth of the timing belt like that. And this will slide the system. This is a 36 feet, so it has a 36 groove timing pulley that will go on top of the slide motor
like that. Okay, and we'll get everything work. It will uh, pull, yes, it will pull the belt, not exactly. The belt will stay fixed. It is the motor that will grip, that will attach to the belt, that will make everything slide. So the, the, the fit there will get everything here, the main structure sliding, okay? Not so clear, but once I've uh, assembled this, will be much more clear. So let me just get where I was. <coughs> I will need to get one, two, three and four. Those are 12 millimeters M3 screws that will go like that. Now the two uh, feet, okay, no, not yet the two feet, I still need to do something I was forgetting. I need a way to connect the, uh, the battery that is here, the two wires from the battery, to the brain here, to the brain the prototype of the brain so let me add this done right now Yes, I'm so done, but I used a, a female one, I should have used a male one because here I have a female here, I have a female, so I must use a male one Okay, here I have, so not the female one, but the male one same as before, positive is still on the left Let's check this. With only the with only the the slide motor. Okay. Let me connect the battery here. Okay. Let me connect that like that I will get power and then switch on okay 
the LED is on, so it is going maybe to work. Let me have my controller on, connected, and this is and it's turning, guys. I don't know if you can see the wheel turning, the pulley turning, but it is, it is turning. Let me go. Let me go. this way and then you can see that it is turning from one direction to the opposite direction so the battery is enough to power the system as the AC adapter is here guys I'm not using the AC adapter switch off everything goes off let me remove this let me detach the brain the prototype of the brain that will be subject for next part and last part, part three. Now, let me remove the battery. And now I will talk about the two feet. Let, let me talk about them. They will go with the square part, the rectangular parts toward the outside. like this okay and the belt will be going down there but I needed a way to block to lock the belt somehow with the two the two feet because this way it's the camera that will slide and not the belt. Here I have two strange things connected. Those strange things here. Okay, that are made like that. So not symmetrical, not rounded. And here I have a hole. And on top of it, I don't know if I can show you, but here, and hear the sound I have some foot too okay here on inside there on top on the ceiling that when I slide the belt inside like that they will match the belt okay the 2GT tiny belt inside here one from each side, but I need a way to block, to lock the, pull, the timing belt there. So this is the purpose of those two uh, strange things there. I will need two and three nylon nuts as before, one for each. Uh, for each uh, feet, foot, sorry, and I will go this way like that. Then I will insert this one, the block, and I will use some M3. Uh, screws as before and three bolts or screws socket cap screws having 30 millimeters so three centimeters of threaded shaft there three centimeters 30 millimeters and i will go this way through okay now, if I get the belt inside with the teeth up, up like that, and there is the hole there for the belt, you can see that 
you have the hole there so getting through okay with the feet towards the up and if i don't use the lock mechanism here it will not be fixed but let me just do this and getting up like that now the belt it is it is well locked there okay and i need to go towards the bottom to get it out so i will do the exact same thing for the other foot there and then block it too and this is blocked and well done so now the two feet are done everything is done i simply need to test if everything works okay tested good now the, the final part I will need to assemble those wheels onto the sliding carriage using those four wheels, those four screws or, or boards, they are M5, not M3, and some M5 nylon nuts. <coughs> but I will do this on the, uh, on the plywood. And those uh, uh, screws will need to be tightened once the system is perfectly on the uh, on the on the aluminum V slot 2080 V slot so let's change of scenario okay mm. good so here you have everything I will need for the final step I have four M5 4.5 centimeters of 45 millimeters long uh, nuts or bolts those are not socket cap because i needed something with all already some uh, some uh, sort of washer incorporated like this one you can see that the border is larger and those are torx uh, head so i will need some torx tool to screw them in place uh, but those are M5. You can mm, you can choose whatever uh, you want for this final step because it's not dependent on everything else. I you can absolutely go with some socket cap head, but instead I've used those one. Let me uh, have these inserted correctly where I need it to to go. I will start with one side with one side of the 2080 uh, aluminum bar, 2080 V slot there, like that, and then I will slide in, let me go this way so I have more space in here, I will slide my system like that inside here the just oh no you are not seeing I will slide this in like that and then I will go with the other foot in from the other side Oops, towards the outside, the squared part. Like that, okay? Like that. This will be sliding like that, okay? No matter what, it will be like that. Now, let's remove this part. And let's have everything assembled here, the final part. 
I will go from this side with the nylock nuts. Okay, good. Now it is assembled. Okay, like that. It slides. Let's test if it works. Okay, uh, let me take the prototype of the brain in here. Some wires, some cables to connect to the motor. Also, the battery in there. I will plug the battery. Like that. Let me switch it on. It is switched on as it has the red light there. The controller, let's get connected. 
connected. Let me try. Yes, what is the problem? I don't, uh, I haven't connected the, the belt. So, the belt, let me have this correctly done. Inside the groove. Like that. Then, Okay, then under the wheel once again. Like that. And then let's fix it as I did before. Okay. Once again, inside roughly everything. Okay, like that. Okay. Now, switch on. The light is switched on. And then, connection. Connected. Yes, done. I haven't tightened here. Yes, I haven't tightened this correctly. I need to tighten it, to otherwise it won't work. Oops, the camera here. So the pulley is, the pulley there is loose. I don't have the right tool. Okay, now this is the right tool. Good. Too much wires in here, obviously, right now. Switch it on and the LED is switched on. Let's have it connected. Yes, I don't have. the motor, the slide motor connected. When testing this pull up and okay on connection pan 
is working, tilt is working, and slide. Let's try this. And then it is sliding from one side to the other. Okay guys, so the system works. Right now it is sliding from one point to another, changing pan and field. So it is moving from one K point there to the second K point that is here, constantly going backward, forward, backward, forward, and changing the pan and tilt. It's not at full speed, it's at a quarter of a speed right now, because otherwise it was too quick. Uh, a real mess here in the brain section, but it is for next time. And if you want to see or are curious to see a little sequence filmed some minutes ago with the system going from one point to the other to the other. Here is the little sequence. Okay guys, so it is at least stable, it is good for me and you can see that, you have just seen that uh, it can be focused on elements on the table, so it can be focused on buildings and figurines and uh, trees you have on your layout. And if I wanted to stop, I just need to press the circle button there. Right now it is programmed to go from one position and then I set one position, the first keyframe, and I push the square. Then I set the other position and I click once again the square. Then I click triangle and it slide continuously from one point to the other. If you want to see at full speed, right now it should be at full speed. Once it gets to one point, it will change the speed. And it will accelerate. And then decelerate right now. This is full speed and full acceleration. Okay. And then I can reduce the speed and acceleration. And it never goes banging on the 
on the fit if you program it correctly so that's why I don't think I will use the uh, whole sensors to get the home position for everything because I don't really need uh, with this uh, programming like that to get the home and avoid the banging right now bang no because it slow down quickly but it slow down it is at full speed right now but it can be programmed to go even more quick okay So, I think for today is enough, uh, I simply need to uh, make one final part concerning the brain and building the brain starting from this little PCB here, but it is for uh, next time because I don't want to use the prototype as it is a, a mess, uh, especially uh, under the brain itself with all those wires connected very confused me. I will need to shorten all the wires in order to accommodate everything so I will need to do some cut solder, cut solder and then everything will be ready for use. So please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and see you next time for certain final part but only if you really want. Bye!